Hi guys, in this video we're going to cover the um, completion of the fin and rudder on the 750 Cruiser, Aussie built 750 Cruiser, and um, I've just finished the horizontal stabiliser and the elevator. Alright, middle of March, into the um, self tappers already, so we've got the horizontal stabiliser with the stab, uh, front and rear spars clicoed together, sorry, riveted together, so riveted all the the spars together, uh, making sure that the flanges pull down nice and tight, and got the self tappers out just to secure the um, what's that? The top of the rear spar to the bench, so that it's upside down at the moment. These will be the mounting lugs to the fuselage eventually, and put it down at the back there, screwed it down to the bench. I've got 10 mil blocks basically under each rib um, to get it nice and square and with my yes yeah, so I've got these uh, I just used ended up using 10 mil square hardwood that I had <coughs> and make sure that I've got the um, both spars are parallel that's yeah the bench isn't necessarily level, but I know the bench is flat, so there is a difference. So you just want the both spars to be the same, which is um, looking pretty good. And with the um, tailplane <coughs> all jigged up, riveted, and I've put my primer on the top there. Now I've got the, the skin for the stab or tailplane. Um, try not to handle these too much. It's still in the box. I'm going to de deburr it in the box. You can see it's beautifully drilled out. Um, like these cutouts will obviously slip over or go on the plan. The mounting lugs. So remove the sticker, deburr, and then we'll install the bottom skin on the horizontal stab. And the top skin in place. So I click aid and ready to pop some rivets that's the top skin on the um, horizontal stab which is wedged in under there So these Zenith kits are pretty cool, just rivets and holes just line up beautifully. You can go to the rivets. It's all been clicoed, but um, clicoed and repaired, and the rivets just drop in beautifully. Occasionally you get a hard one. Good tip there is just to, I just use the hand riveter just to um, give it a bit of a push in there, a bit of assistance, but most of them haven't even put one in. I haven't even had to use a drill yet. They all just go straight in there nicely, ready to pull. So, nice work, Zenith. Okay, had my uh, inspector around today, so we're closing up the horizontal stab. Got the two before here. Um, and just the straps, just to help me here, just working by myself. Folded the skin down, got a couple of clicos in, and we'll continue just to clico along there and get the top skin on the horizontal stab. First little hiccup, I guess, on fitting the um, elevator hinge. And in the plans, clearly shows the elevator hinge and it stops at this rib here. However, it says to rivet through with T. T25 um, from the centre all the way to the tip, but it stops there in the photo guide. If you can see that, but the hinge is about 300 mil short each end. So, but the hinge supplied. Um, let's run to that one handed once again. The hinge supplied can go full length. That's the stock, 
and we've got A4s already drilled to here as per the drawing I guess the hinge finishes there so there's about 300 mil gap however I was about to cut it um, but I've since found a service bulletin that says the hinge goes full length which makes more sense to me the only issue there though um, it's not really an issue the consideration is the wing tip so I have to take about 40 mil off just to allow allow for the wing tips uh, to get in there and for the hinge to work properly so just a little bit of a on my behalf and the plans well the drawing clearly shows the hinge stopping there as does the photo but I've found also found a um, so I found a service jumped online found a service bulletin also gave um, a new acquaintance of mine or a friend if you like um, Greg Priest over in WA quick message to him uh, unfortunately he hasn't started the elevator yet but he did his own research as well and just confirmed what I've found so I'll go with the um, full length elevator hinge well, I was still working on the horizontal stabiliser. Got a few issues, I guess. I downloaded. There's a service bulletin out, which I sort of found. So the the hinge now actually goes full length of the horizontal stabiliser and the elevator, which makes sense and looks a bit beefier. Previously, I would I was going to I was about to cut the hinge here, which is about 300 off each end, but one cut of 600 and then centre centre the hinge. Um, the other issue I've found with these tip plates which will go on the end just that corner hole you end up obviously with the edge distance being out um, it's only for the tip so I'm not sure what we're going to do there and also with the hinge slide that down I've already got so I've got three layers in the corner here. I've got the spar, which is a Z angle. Um, so a layer, so a layer of the spar. Got the rib, the tip rib, which folds over in, in the middle there, and the skin. Now I'm going to keep the I'm going to keep the hinge on top of the spar, so it'll it'll slide in nicely underneath. But you end up now. I've got four layers, um, four layers in the corner. So the spar, in, in order I guess, I've got the spar, the hinge, the tip rib and the top skin. Elevator in progress. Get the tips on and get the elevator on gently with the hinge. Progress. Alright, delivery from Xena. Just out here doing my morning morning swarf party. And knock on the door from the postie. Zenith postage. $59. That's probably American. Given the current climate, <coughs> that's about $180 Australian. But Zenith was good enough to, this is my, hopefully my, um, my parts for the inventory. Our angle and some steering wheel. The invoice, no paper. There's the little fellas I needed. Thank you Zenith. And just got the one angle, one L angle as well. CF19-9. So Zenith's done a great job. You ask and you shall receive. So thank, thank you very much, Joyce at Zenith. All right, so the elevator flipped over. I uh, got the trim, elevator trim tab, clicked on, and we're about to install the servo motor, which I've got over here. And servo motor, and back to looks like model airplane stuff, but um, a couple of clevises. I'm about to cut this. Set up the distance of um, 116 mil uh, between the clevises, and then we'll hook it up and wire it up. And all the parts of the elevator, all prepped, primed, 
the bird ready to go. So we'll start assembly. Got a bit of a head start, did some tricky um tricky well uh, that'd be tricky in situ. So got some rivets in already, got a bit of a head start. You've sort of got to think about uh, the assembly process. But we'll put the elevator together finally. Alright, here we have the completed horizontal stabilizer and elevator assembly. I've just got the um, the wing tips were clicked on, but I just used uh, duct tape, spare the duct tape, spoil the job. Uh, put the duct tape on just so I can store this thing flat without because if you knock these, um, knock the clicos, you get a nice smiley face in the surface. So I'll probably separate the elevator and it can go in the box under there for storage. But yeah, the elevator went together fairly well. Um, what issues did I have? Oh, I just followed the manual. Uh, these wing tips are fairly flimsy until you get them, until you get them rigged up. If I did have my time again, I'd put the elevator on first, then mount uh, the sub rib in there, if you like, to the elevator with a spacer, like tape it on, and then mount the tips. And it'd just be a bit easier. Um, and I've got the fin there as well, fin and rudder complete. Clear workbench. Time to move on, I guess. Uh, around here, just in the back of the elevator, also the trim tab. Trim tab's on there, just got some tape holding that um, steady. It's a bit tight getting in there, but uh, all singing, all dancing. We've got a minor little misalignment um, just with the wing tip here. I might do a Mike Patey and just fill that gap. Um, We'll do that later on. The wing tips have the sorry the horizontal stab the tips have to come off for angle of incidence once we mount it on the aircraft. So they'll stay off until such time as that gets mounted to a fuselage. So better build a fuselage. I think we'll move on to I'll do the flapper ons next. See how we go.